Okay, now with our pencil, we need an eraser, right? Because we make lots of mistakes, or at least I do. So we're going to use the eclipse tool. And sometimes whenever I'm drawing something, I like to like look at what I'm drawing like physically. So I'll get out some of my pencils and look at how they are shaped or how they're drawn. So um, usually there's something right here on your pencil. Um, we're going to use the rounded rectangle tool. And we're going to fill that black or any dark color maybe. And so we're going to place that right about there. All right, you got it? No, this isn't the eraser. This is like the, you know, the piece before the eraser. Oh, yeah. So hold down the option key and we're going to duplicate that and put it above it like that. There we go. And I'm going to make mine even one more. Yeah, kind of like that. Now we got to get our eraser on there. So we can stick an eraser. Again, use the rounded uh, rectangle. And uh, <laughs> does that mean you make a lot of mistakes? Okay, so we got our top of the eraser. Um, I'm going to highlight all of it and kind of like make it a little bit smaller so I can put a pen on it. Okay, now we need to make our the sharp point. So we're going to actually use a shape. Use a rectangle tool and using the grid, draw a square around one of the grid squares. Uh, then go to the direct selection tool or A. Um, click on one of the anchor points of the corner and then hit delete. And you'll notice that it automatically deletes half of it, right? And actually, I'm going to change the color because it's not really that color. It's more, it's more like maybe that. And then I'm going to rotate. Just put your mouse on the edge and rotate your pencil. And then try to get it just right. Okay. And I would put it behind, like all the way, Command Shift left bracket to put it behind. So. It's like that. Um, now, last thing we need is our, you know, on the pencil, there's like the lead. We got to show the lead. So go ahead and kind of zoom in, option, scroll. And as I scroll in, I look, I see that I wasn't the neatest. So I'm going to kind of fix that. Okay. Remember the pen tool? Go on the left and hit the pen tool. And then draw and then make a fill like black.
and I'm gonna fill the lead so just go click 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 and click so I just made my lead and now we have our pencil yeah wow you guys are good now what you're gonna do is take your pencil you're gonna rotate it a little to the right so it looks like you're drawing something um, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Wait, how did you do the lead? Pen tool with the lead. Okay, now we're going to use the pencil tool. <laughs> uh, the pencil tool is right here. And you're going to draw your name. Okay? Um, now I would make a thicker stroke, maybe three point stroke, choose your color that you want. I'm gonna choose like a gray because usually it's not black where it's like more grayish for pencil. And then I want you to like write your name in cursive and then the last of your name is gonna be the pencil. So I'll be like M A R Okay, so something like that, and you can stroke it a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. So that completes all of the tutorials. Uh, the last thing what we would do is just take everything and like I'll copy it and paste it into one uh, area. So I'm going to choose the French. Well, I can leave that. So I, I'll basically hit Command A, Command C to copy. Um, go back to our pencil and then put everything in there. So there's our french fries. Maybe I'll put that in the corner. Um, and I would group stuff if I were you. So, should you group? Actually, Command G. And my sunflower is the last one. File open recent. Okay, so and the last thing you do is put in your created by your name signature photo, put that in there. Upload to Posturus and you are done. One more thing that I forgot. Uh, in Illustrator, when you save it, it's a little bit different when you save it compared to, let's say, Photoshop. Uh, in Illustrator, you have to go to, when you go to File, Save As, it only allows you to save as like vector file or uh, Illustrator files or EPS files. So if you want to save it as a JPEG, PNG, like a normal picture file, you have to go to File, Export and then export uh, the one you desire. Um, now, if it's gonna just be posted on the web, you don't need to go to the highest quality, like medium quality is fine uh, for your settings, but basically just choose your uh, setting for save or exporting your uh, image out and you're good to go.